everyone, it's Relic here, and we are back on the FTOG Qantas server. So, in the last episode, we set up the start of our blood magic, and before we even go any further, I've got a little bit of an admission to make, and that was in the last episode, I was a bit of a doofus, and I did the wrong thing, and obviously, therefore, I told you guys the wrong thing as well. I don't really know where my head was at, and... That was the redstone up here. Of course, it's not redstone. It's the large bloodstone bricks that that requires. And yeah, I thought it was all a bit too easy, to be honest. So obviously the lesson that we had in the last season with Grok and Link, perhaps we need to, uh, perhaps we need to go back and recheck our notes. But in order to get the blood bricks, is it's a little bit of a mission, but nothing too bad. And it's more grindy than anything. And I've made a little bit of a start on it. And basically, if we just go into the crafting table, I can show you exactly what we are going to need. And if we go in here, so it's these that we need, the large bloodstone bricks. And you can use either. You can use the bloodstone brick or the large bloodstone brick here. And all it requires is, I say all it requires, is a bit of stone of some type and some of these weak blood shards. And the way that you get these blood shards is pretty much with the bound blade. And that's not too much of an issue in itself because all you need, if I can actually just type for a second, the bound blade, all you need is a diamond sword and this binding region. But yeah, that's where it starts to get a little bit of a pain because to get the, the binding region, you need these bits and you need at least a common gem. Now, I've gone ahead and I've made one because, as I say, there was a it was a little bit grindy in order to get there and I just wanted to do it off camera. And it hasn't taken too long, probably about an hour, and it could have been a lo done a lot quicker than that. And that's on the basis that my uh, my little mob farm, which we'll, we'll get over to in a sec, isn't particularly quick, but it's quite sufficient for what we want now. But yeah, we will be improving on it. But to get the gems, it is basically just a, a tiered system. So if I just go in and type in common, and then we can see. So in order to get the common gem, what you're going to require is a lesser gem and these bits. And it's all done in the Hellfire Forge. And then the lesser gem is based on the petty gem and so on and so forth. And then obviously you've already seen the petty gems pretty easy. You don't need anything else. You just need some wheels and these bits and pieces. So as I say, I set the mob farm up so that it's working. Now, obviously it's not working for the sake of our evil craft over here yet. We've still got to set the pedestal up. But yeah, I wanted this to be manual kill for now and what i've been doing is i've been using my sentient sword because with that we've been making sure that we get plenty of these demonic wheels because obviously that is how we get those and just an interesting little side note and uh, something that i was really relieved about is that the sentient sword is rechargeable in the blood chest so we don't have to jump through the hoops in order to get that again so that is pretty cool and the way this thing works is pretty simple. It would probably be more simple if I had a better set of stairs getting up to it. And if I could actually jump, that would be great as well. But all it is, we've got some lights up here, just some redstone lanterns. Underneath here is a floor with a load of the cursed earth. And yeah, cursed earth is pretty easy. It's different actually to get cursed earth in... 1.10 than it was in in 1.7 but obviously if you play 1.10 for a while now you'll probably be aware of that and instead of having to to go through all of the the ritual and that to get the cursed earth it's pretty simple you just need some normal dirt and a drop of evil which you can get from i think it's probably from killing mobs i can't remember i had a couple of pieces i'll let you know when i remember but yeah so and there's just some vector plates inside just to push the mobs down so that we can we can actually kill them and as i say it's not the best but it's it's quick enough for what we for what we need at the moment and i think that probably is going to change going forward 
So anyway, we have got all that we need because I didn't say a lot of the work off camera and we actually needed 400 will in the common Tartaric gem and we've got 450 now. So I'm just gonna nip back upstairs and turn the lights off. I am gonna actually build some stairs up here so that I don't have to go keep going through this rigmarole or to be honest, it might even be better if I had the switch downstairs, but that would have, of course, required some additional thought. But let's just get rid of these last few mobs in here. In fact, they're only, they'll despawn as soon as we go over there. Good. So we've got our common gem. And obviously, as I say, the next thing that we are going to need, if we just go into this binding regent, is we're going to need some glowstone, some redstone, some gunpowder, and a gold nugget. Now, hopefully, I've got at least some of those bits. So there's some nuggets. I know that I've got some redstone over there. We've got some, definitely got some gunpowder behind here because obviously we've been killing loads of mobs. So there will be some gunpowder in here. The one thing that I haven't got upstairs of course is going to be closer unless we've got some in here which we have good and we're going to need our arcane ashes and uh, so what we'll do is we'll just we're in our space to put this in now we'll just pop that down there for now and i'm guessing actually did i check was that actually oh no it was in the hellfire forge right we'll leave that there I just thought then that was a that was a bit of a strange thing that we needed more than uh, more than two things in there then. So we've got that, we've got our gunpowder, we've got that, and we just need some redstone. So pop the redstone in there. Then we put our gem in the middle or over here. And there we go. So that will make our binding region, and then that's what we'll need to put into the uh, whatever it's called over here, the alchemy array. So let's just double check that again. So we need that and a diamond sword. And have I got any diamonds up here? Yes, I have, good. Right, so we can grab two of those. We need to grab a couple of sticks, which you would have thought the amount of trees that I've cut down, uh, we'd have some sticks. Yes, we have, good, good. So we'll pop that there, flip over to the crafting table. And it's going to be one of these episodes where I just dictate absolutely everything I do. But never mind. So let's head back over here again. And that wasn't necessarily what I wanted to do. And I think, can I break this? Oh, good. I thought I'd lost that sword then. That would have really upset me. Of course, it has no interface, so... Did I actually grab the binding region out? I didn't. Right, so let's pop you up there. Can we do that? Yeah, pop you up there. So first of all, then we'll put the binding region in. And of course that's got a lot bigger now. And I think this is the one that has all of the amazing effects. So let's just put the sword in. We'll step away. It's gonna do its thing. There's gonna be some lightning and not sure whether that can hurt me. Maybe I'll stand by this tree. Probably not the best place to stand with lightning. And there we go. So there is our bound blade. And now with the bound blade, we can head back over here. We can switch all of this on again. And oh, look at that, like a true pro, I managed to actually get up there properly this time. Yeah, you have to excuse me there, my house phone rang, so I had to quickly go and answer that. So anyway, yeah, so we could turn off all of these lights so it gets nice and dark in there. And then we're gonna jump down here, bounce around a bit, and we're gonna use our bound blade. We're gonna wait for the mobs to get down here. Now, I've not done this before, so I'm kinda hoping, let's just eat something while we're waiting. I'm kinda hoping that these blood shards come a bit quickly because otherwise we could be doing this for a while. I mean, we only need one. So let's hit it with the bound blade and let's just have a quick look and see what we get. Doesn't seem to be doing a lot of damage, which uh, is not necessarily a good thing. So didn't get one that time. Hopefully we get lucky this time. Let's just keep doing it. 
<laughs> and oh, there's a couple there. Let's just kill them both. And come on, hurry up and die. That would be great if you could. Right, nothing in the inventory. And there's a weak blood shard in there. Excellent. So that was a lot quicker than we thought it was going to be. And if we just jump up here, I think we're going to need more than one blood shard, to be honest. But for now, that'll do. I was I probably could leave these on, but I just want to try and be a little bit server friendly. And I'm just conscious that there's going to be a server restart any minute. So we're going to have to cut away while that happens. And is there anything else down here? There is. Let's just grab that as well. We might get another weak shard from these guys. I guess two is better than one. And this is pretty slow. It's certainly not as quick as the sentient sword. That is for sure. And yeah, there we go. So there's another one. So it doesn't seem as though they're that rare, which is a really, really good thing. Okay, so we are now going to pop back over here. We're going to go back into Blood Bricks. And I feel like I'm in a race against the clock now. Because as I say, the server is going to restart. So we just need some stone. Oh, and it's just normal crafting. And we'll get 16 of those. So we do actually only need one. So one of those. One of those. We get our 16 bricks, which means that we can jump up here. And we can correct our little error that we made in the last episode, like so. And up on this one as well. Parkour skills are not with me today, uh, which uh, which actually isn't that uh, isn't actually that unusual. And we've got one minute. Can we do it in the one minute? If I stop falling down there, then I think possibly we can. Let's just get rid of you, pop you there, pop you there, and get you off, like so. And there we go. Good. So we have actually now got a tier three altar. And if I just got time to grab my divination sigil, what we can do is we can pop over to the altar, give that a right click, and there you go. Sorry, tier four. And it will tell us that that is done. So uh, Nems has just joined the game. So great timing. I'll just let him know. Server about to restart. So I will see you in a minute. Okay, so we are back up and running. And now that we have corrected our little error from the last episode, I want to get straight on to what I want to do for this episode. And that is I want to have a, a quick look at some of the sigils that are available through Blood Magic. Now you can see there are quite a few of them. And I think I did mention already that the air sigil is something that uh, uh, no, oh, I can't spell. Scheduled, scheduled restart. And yeah, so I wanted to get the air, the air sigil and I'm hoping this is pretty easy. So we're gonna need some reinforced slate, which we've already got and some of this air region. Now in order to do that, we need a gas tier and a couple of feathers. Now I know that we've definitely got feathers, but if we've got a gas tier, I'll be absolutely amazed. Now I don't think for a minute that if we have got one that it's gonna be up here, it's more likely to be up be downstairs. So let's just quickly get ourselves downstairs and probably just dump some of this stuff before we go down there so that we've got some room <laughs> oh dearie me and uh... yeah so we're gonna have a quick sleep and we are gonna head on downstairs which uh is the really sophisticated way of just jumping down a hole and then hopefully no, we didn't bounce high enough now get ourselves inside <laughs> yeah i i was going to show you this uh, when i first when i first saw it but uh, unfortunately i did the whole of the last episode upstairs but i believe that techno jock is responsible for this so we've got the chiseled creeper <laughs> cheers nemson 
So when when I first came in here, I nearly had the absolute start of my life, and I did actually run back out the door uh, until I noticed just it wasn't moving, and I thought, hmm, that's a little bit strange. So yeah, I think it's techno, but yeah, to be sure, we will uh, we will be finding out. I will make it my business to find that out. And luckily, we have got a gas here, and we've only got one, so. Let's hope that we don't need any more gas tears for anything else because they are pretty difficult to get hold of. Well, they are for me anyway when you have my fighting ability. Oh yeah, the broom. I forgot. I wanted to show you this. Now... Um... <laughs> oh, dearie me. So what we've, uh, what we've got, the broom. You remember I was moaning about how long it takes to get up? to a, a decent height. I actually found if you point it backwards, oh, this is the weirdest thing, but it goes a little bit quicker seemingly. So now you can see we've already made a lot more height than we would going forward. Now, the only problem with this is that obviously you can't see where you're going. And a couple of times I've ended up suffocating because it will put you up inside blocks and yeah gives you a little bit of a nerve a nerve jangle when it happens but yeah that's fine so anyway we need one of those and we're gonna need a couple of feathers which i really should have checked while i was chattering away whether or not we had sufficient feathers up here which i'm now thinking yes we do good so we've got that and let's just double check that again so this binding region yeah just a couple of feathers and how much do we how much do we need in this so we can use a common and we only need 128 and we've got 440 so that is all good so let's just hope we've got a reinforced slate although obviously it doesn't matter if we haven't at this point because we have got the means to go about doing stuff so we need one of those two of those uh, where has my, where has my gas tear gone? Can I not just, can I just not see it at the moment? Oh, don't tell me that I had a full inventory and it's fallen on the floor downstairs. So I was in a real panic about that. I got back down here and I couldn't see it anywhere and I frantically started searching through my inventory and I forgot about the handy bags and the auto pickup. And luckily, I went into my red bag, and I have got other gas tears in there as well, so it's automatically picked it up in there. And I don't, I've got to say, I don't remember. There you go. That's that's what happens when you fly into walls. I've got to admit, I don't remember setting that to auto pickup, but there you go. I probably did at some point, but panic over. We've now got our um, gas here, and that was really quite scary. So let's just fly forwards because we're nearly there now. And see if you panicked how quickly you could you could die in a situation like that. And that would be a real pain because I'm not sure how I'd get my stuff back because I don't know where graves spawn when you suffocate because I've never done that yet. So let's go into here. Let's drop our gas here in. We'll pop our common gem over here. And nothing. Why is that not working? What have I done wrong? So let's just have another quick look at this. Uh, we don't need the slate for that. That's why. Take the slate out. And it's the slate is needed for the next part of the process. Right, so we've got our air region. Now, in fact, we'll just leave that in there for now. Don't need it. And we've got our powder, so we can pop that down. And that is literally it. So we just need to pop our air regent down like so. And I've never seen the, the animation for this. So let's have a look. Oh, it's just going to be a normal animation. I'm going to step away just in case there is any kind of explosion because I do remember the warnings that I got from Link last time, but no, that's fine. 
There we go. So we've got our air sigil. And I believe we just... Oh, that is so much quicker. Whoa. Why did... Uh... Why did I lose all of that life? Is that because my personal network was empty? I wonder. Yeah, it was. Right. Point to note, if you haven't got any, if you haven't got sufficient LP in your network, then that is automatically going to start taking hearts off of you. So we need to make sure, we need to get up here first of all. We need to make sure that we've uh, that we've got plenty of blood in our network. And in fact, I am going to go and get that sorted now because that looks really quick. But I just wanted to test how manoeuvrable it was. And I'm running over there. I don't know why. My head is all over the place. Right, so let's grab the... Oh, perhaps it was over there. I wanted my sacrificial dagger and which I momentarily seem to have displaced <laughs> oh dearie me where is it I have absolutely no idea where I put it now maybe it was over here was I just not looking oh I know it would have been in this chest I bet because I put that and it wasn't if it's in here now, then I'm definitely going crazy. I am. I'm just. Lo I'm actually losing the plot. Slowly but surely. I need to go and grab some food. Uh, we've got some food here. We've got some bread. Good. Let's eat a couple of bits of bread, and get our health regened. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the flower up again. Yeah, I'll do that, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've pumped a bit of blood into the network, so we've got, I think that's potentially still going up. So yeah, we've got a fair bit in there. That should be enough for now. Now, what I'm thinking is, if we just grab that out, can we put this in our offhand and we can still, uh, you can't then, and it tells you how much essence you've got. So if I go up, yeah, so that does actually go down quite quickly, but yeah, that is uh, that is a pretty cool item. That is much, much, much faster than the broom, but it does also go through blood relatively quickly. So let's just get that back out of the offhand and let's just have a quick look and see how much is left in the in the network. So we've got 40. Oh, that's still going up because we've still got we still had we still got blood going in from over there. Okay, well that's fine. It's not too bad, I guess, but what we are gonna need is we're gonna need a better source of blood, which we're gonna be working on over the next couple of episodes, I think. And the next thing, let's have a look, what else have we got? We've got the divination sigil, we've got the air sigil. So infinite water. Ah, we could have infinite lava. Now, I'm thinking that that is a potential use for... Uh, I can't remember what the what the flower is now. Is it the Gorma Lily? Let's just go in to Britannia really quickly. Uh, one of these flowers eats lava. Uh, I can't remember which one it is now. There is definitely so one of the one of the flowers definitely does eat lava. And where's our book? Let's just have a quick look in the book. That'll probably make life a little bit quicker. So it's generating... Is it the... Uh, no, that's food. Is it this one? No, that's TNT. One of these. Thermolily, that's it. So the thermolily will absorb lava. So if we were to use... If we can find a way to automate the sigil, then we could we could set that up to use lava on that, and we'd never run out of lava. See, because the Gorma Lily uses the actual source block of lava, I believe. So yeah, just starting to think how we can combine these these mods together, actually, just to make our life a little bit easier. So then we'd have all of the Britannia Manor that we needed. 
Let's have a look then and see what else there is that we could uh, that we could make. So sigil, I want to make today. That'd be pretty good. So void sigil, presumably you can just get rid of stuff. That's deactivated. Sigil of the blood lamp. Uh, what does that do? So in order to do that, what we're going to need is we don't need that much will. Minimum 300, which I believe we've got. So we need a block of redstone, a torch. Sorry, a block of glowstone, a torch, and two redstone. So we've got the torch. And I can't remember now where I put my redstone down, uh, my glowstone down. Presumably that was over here. And oh, we've only got two bits. How annoying. Okay, so yeah, I had to nip down to the nether to grab some more glowstone because really annoyingly we had completely run out. So we just want the one bit of glowstone for now. And just remind myself of the recipe so I don't go off and do anything crazy this time. So yeah, I just need that in the Hellfire Forge. So that, that. Uh, can we put that in there? One torch. And because we've already got that in there and it's got the correct will in that, that will automatically create our stuff. And I think what kind of sigils that we know slate. So we need an imbued slate for that. So let's grab the imbued slate that we need. We've got the powders here. Now I'm hoping this one has a good animation as well, because the last one was a little bit disappointing to be fair and I don't think I don't think it's going to no it's just going to be the normal it's just going to be the normal animation I think maybe then it's only the bound the bound bits and pieces that get you the uh, get you that animation so what does this do so if I I have no idea does that light stuff up Let's, uh, it's given like a little bit of an effect. See, I'm thinking to myself now, do I really want to place too many of those down? Is that now, is that now taking essence? I think probably it is. So how do we undo it once we've, once we've put it down? Can we, do we shift click it? Presumably that's now there forever. I'm hoping that's not using any blood out of my network because that will be a bit of a pain if it is. Now still on 9154. Let's just keep an eye on it. And I just want to go somewhere that's dark for a second. Where is dark? Oh, do you know what? I've lit everywhere up so well. I don't think there's anywhere that's dark. Okay, look, these squares down here. We've got some of the, oh, that was really, really annoying. I fell down there because now, I tell you, oh, dearie me, what am I doing? Let's, uh, let's grab the air sigil back and let's, uh, let's go floating back up here again. And that will definitely have used, so let's just double check. So we've got 804 left, right. Now I'm going to, Get my head screwed back on and we will take this, Can we get rid of that, pop that down, okay, and you can't actually sit, oh, oh okay, so you can just click it like that and it will disappear, oh well, that's pretty cool, so you can't actually even see anything, so where the other one was then there should be like a little module, there we go, so we just delete that and we're fine. Uh, seven nine eight four I'm gonna leave that one down there and yeah I'm just gonna periodically check up and see what's going on there but it doesn't seem like it uses anything particularly fast maybe if we had a load of them going it would but that's pretty handy I like that and what else have we got we have got loads of deactivating stuff when seeing all I don't know what that does. Well, is there a book actually, rather than 
just going through stuff like this. Maybe if we just go into Blood Magic, whether there's a book that can tell us what we need to know. There's nothing there. There's only two pages of this as well. So I'm guessing that there isn't actually a Blood Magic book. Okay, cool. Well, we can just uh, we can just have a look through them and just see what they are as we're doing. I think we're nearly at the end of sigils anyway. So yeah, we got that. So the Seer's sigil. So all of these are de deactivated. Sigil of holding. Teleposition sigil. Now this one, I think you can move blocks around with this one. Let's just have a look and see how hard this is to make. It's probably going to be quite. Yeah, I thought this was going to be quite difficult. And you need, you need a better gem than I've got in order to be able to use that. Okay, well, I think that's potentially all that we wanted. I think that's potentially all that we wanted off that. I would quite like this teleposition sigil because that would be quite handy for stuff that breaks. And moving stuff around like that. And I really want to know what this does. Now, this is quite a petty one actually when seeing all is not enough so you need the uh, I don't want to use up my my divination sigil that would be that would be quite annoying as it happens let's do it anyway I think if if we need to make another one then we can make another one so we needed two bits of glass we need another bit of glowstone and divination sigil. So that, that, that. We've got our divination sigil. And let's just hope that I get this back. Please, please don't take it. Oh, it has taken it. Oh, that is the most annoying thing. Okay, well, we can make it. I guess we can make another. Oh, we just need a bit of redstone in the blank slate, actually. Why am I panicking? Blank slate. Let's just go and get that quickly sorted out because I feel a little bit annoyed that I now haven't got one of those. So we go grab a bit of redstone and grab our blank slate. Let that do its thing for a minute. And I grabbed that. And so also with that, we need a reinforced slate. So let's just grab another one of the reinforced slates. And um, we've got a divination sigil bat. So let's just link that up. Good. And that's automatically linked. So we'll put down our arcane ashes again. Put down the site region like so. And into that, we will throw, not that, that is for sure. We will throw our reinforced slate. I have no idea what this does, but I guess we're about to find out. This is quite a good fun, actually, just trying to find out what stuff does. Right, so we've got that. Now, what does that do? Okay, so... So that just seems to do the same as the divination sigil. Which is... That's a bit strange. Does it stay on the screen for longer? And that number hasn't changed, so those lights don't seem to take up any of your LP. And I don't, at the moment, know what this does. Is it used for something else? I don't know. So <laughs> I guess that's something I'm going to have to look up between episodes anyway, because I don't want to spend time trying to work out stuff when I haven't got a book. I really thought there was a book for blood magic, and that that's kind of annoying me at the moment that we that we haven't that we can't see it. And you probably hear my cat in the background. She's telling me that she's hungry currently, so I will have to go and feed her shortly. Ah, maybe it's this. So we just put a book in the blood altar, and we get this book. So let's go and grab a book. Okay, so we've got a book. Let's just get up here and get that done. And I'm hoping that uh, my heart bar's filling it with sigils pretty quickly here. 
So what we need to do is we just need to put a little bit of blood into the network. I'm not sure how much this is going to need. I probably should have checked that actually. So we'll pop the book there and let's just have a quick look and see. Um, blood magic. I'm doing a lot of typing in this, uh, in this episode seemingly. Where's the book? Oh, there it is. So that oh, it only requires a thousand, so that should have done by now, which it has. Uh, let's just jump down and just see. What's in there? Ah, okay. Oh, that is, I know what that is. That is the item that you use to help you build the, to help you build the blood altar. Oh, that's useless to us. Right, okay, so it doesn't look as though there's an instruction book for this, so I guess we're going to have to get something offline uh, to have a look at that. Uh, let's just go back. So we've got the sigil. I think, uh, I think potentially what we're going to do is I'm going to call it an episode there because we've got all the sigils that we want. I'm really, really pleased that we've got this air sigil, actually, because that is really, that is really, really handy. And it makes you run really fast as well, which I kind of really like that. But yeah, it is at the cost, obviously, of some blood. And I know it's so fast that you can't actually get back to where you started from. But yeah, I hope you've liked the episode. Uh, if you have, drop us a like, smash that like button, it is always appreciated. And until next time guys, thanks ever so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!